So Kalu ya wailana mamba asana mi marqadina. They'll say, Oh my god, who took us out of our graves? Hada ma wa'ada rahman. Oh, it's hitting me now. It's all coming back to me now. This is what the incredibly merciful promise was al Mursaloon. And those messengers we poked fun at. They're <laughs> all telling the truth. In Kanat illa sayhatan wahida. It's gonna be nothing but one loud scream. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمُ اتَّقُوا مَا بَيْنَا إِذِيكُمْ وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ And when it said to them, have, take caution, take precaution based on what is right in front of you. Fear what is in front of you also means the revelation that's in front of you, the message that's in front of you. وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ And the message that came before you too also means Take precaution based on what came in front of you. These ayat, these signs, and history behind you. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ So that you may be shown mercy. وَمَا تَأْتِيهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ And there's not a single miracle from any of the miracles of their master that comes to them, except their attitude is the same, they deliberately continue to ignore them. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَكُمُ اللَّهِ And when it's said to these kinds of people, why don't you spend from what Allah has provided for you? قَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Disbelievers would say to those who uh, do believed, أَنُطْعِمُوا مَنْ لَوْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ أَطْعَمَ You want us to feed? Somebody who have God, your God who's so great, who made all these fruits and trees and made all this great thing, these great things that he says he provided. He didn't want to feed them, why do you want us to feed them? So they use sarcasm as a, as a smart response to not give charity. You people, like these are the kuffar talking, you people are so confused. First, of, first you talk about this great God who provides. And then there's these poor, poor people in the world. What kind of God is it? Allah makes commentary about even these things, these guys that think they're so smart from the philosophy department that show up and hang out at the MSA booth when you have the Discover Islam booth. And they come and they say, so why isn't your God feeding the, you know, the starving children in this, this country or that country? What's going on? You know? You're hear this trash talk from them. And then when you say, when you say, Astaghfirullah, La hawla wa la quwata illa billah, Fear Allah, they'll say, Wa yaquluna mata hadha al-wa'din kuntum sadiqeen. When is this promise coming? If in fact you're telling the truth, when is judgment day? To the year 2000 already came, the Mayan calendar and all of that. 2012 already came and passed. We already made, even made a movie about it. When is it coming? They're not going to be staring at anything but a loud sound, a loud scream. That will take a hold of them. While they're in the midst of their obnoxious debating. They're arguing, arguing back and forth. They're in the middle of that while the, while the, the loud scream catches them. فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ تَوْسِيَةً Then they won't even be able to leave a will. Actually, wasa here means, you know when there's an emergency and you call, hey, there's an earthquake. In case I don't make it, take care of the kids, okay? If anything happens, if anything should happen, just know I love you. And you'll be good. There's no goodbyes. They won't have time for goodbyes. And they won't be able to go back to their families for one last hug. And the trumpet will be blown into. And then out of nowhere, they're going to start coming out of their graves. You know, ajdath is a specific word for qabr. You know what qabr is, right? Grave. Jadath is actually a grave that has no markings left. You don't even know it's a grave. And so all of a sudden in the middle of this field, people start coming out that were buried here thousands of years ago. We didn't even know. من الأجداث إلى ربهم Towards their master, يَنْسِلُونَ Descending down, everybody's heading down. As though the earth has turned into a slope and everybody just pours into... You know how when there's a, a, a slope, 
water ends up in the same place, it trickles down and ends up in the same place. Nasala, to head down, downwards. And so Allah makes the entire earth stretched in a slope and everybody's running down towards Arafat. They would say, oh, what horrible thing has happened. Nothing worse could possibly happen. Ya wailana. The old English, woe unto us. Wail is in Arabiya. La yumkin akbah wa aswa min dhalik. There's worse isn't possible. There, things couldn't possibly be worse for us. Mamba Athana min Marqadina. Who who woke us up from our sleep? Marqadina. Marqad is actually a light sleep. Light, and uh, Raqad is actually or Marqad is also used one of the metaphorical terms for grave. Now we know that we're being either rewarded in the grave or we are being or not we, but human beings are being punished in the grave. We don't put ourselves in that position. Right? Either, either we're being rewarded or human beings are going to be punished in the grave. So there's no sleep in the grave. So how come Allah uses the word marqad? Well, when the first trumpet is born, everything dies. When the second one is blown, everything wakes up. So between the first and the second, there is a sleep. Between the first and the second, you are knocked out. You're completely out. But until the first, you were awake. And from the, from the time of your death, until the first, you were awake. You're being rewarded, you're enjoying the breeze of Jannah, the conversation among the believers is happening, people are visiting each other, each other's graves. The life of Barzakh is elaborate in the hadith of the Prophet That goes on until everything dies. And that is the first trumpet. And this, when Allah says, وَنُفِقَ فِي الصُّورِ Everything's coming out of their graves. This is not the trumpet of death, this is the trumpet of life. This is the resurrection trumpet, this is the second one. So, you know, فَسَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ When we pass through those ayat, when the trumpet is born and everything will die, Everything will, will collapse. That's the first one. So, قَالُوا يَا وَيْلَنَا مَنْ بَعَثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِينَا They'll say, oh my God, who took us out of our graves? هَذَا مَا وَعَدَ الرَّحْمَانِ Oh, it's hitting me now. It's all coming back to me now. This is what the incredibly merciful promise, وَصَدَقَ الْمُرْسَلُونَ And those messengers we poked fun at, <laughs> we're all telling the truth. إِنْ كَانَتْ إِلَّا صَيْحَةً وَاحِدًا It's going to be nothing but one loud scream. فَإِذَا هُمْ جَمِيعُ الَّذَيْنَا مُحْضَرُونَ Then all of them in union are going to be standing before us presented. فَالْيَوْمَ لَا تُظْلَمُ نَفْسٌ شَيْئًا That that day, no, not, not a single soul, no individual is going to be wronged in any way. وَلَا تُجْزَوْنَا إِلَّا مَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ And none of you are going to be given anything but the very things you worked on. You'll be given exactly what you used to be working on. 